So in this example, we are going to be representing a neighborhood, these streets. It says the illustration shows several blocks of a neighborhood where a postal worker delivers mail. Draw a graph that represents the neighborhood. Let vertices represent the street intersections and edges represent the streets. And you can see we have this little map here, this street map with the names of the streets on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and where, where streets intersect, that's going to be where we'll place a vertex. So you can see right here we have West Drive and North Avenue. So I'm going to put a vertex right there, Long Street and North Avenue. And the good thing about these street maps is that you can go ahead and almost just plot right on top of them if you want to. We have North Avenue and May Court. There's another one right there. Pole Street in North Avenue. We'll put another one right there. East Drive in North Avenue. So where all these streets intersect. West Drive and South Street. Long Street and South Street. Pole Street and South Street. And then East Drive and South Street. And we have one more here, and that's where May Court and Pole Street intersect. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten intersections with ten vertices. So when we make our map, we're going to have to have ten vertices, and we'll pretty much just copy what we see here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and it looks like we have one just below here. We have one right here, here, and here, and then of course we have this one that's up here. And I'm just going to number them, just for simplicity, rather than using the street names, I'm just going to number them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. So then the edges are the actual connections, which are actually the streets, the connections between the vertices. So we could see that we have one right here along North Avenue. We have this one here along North Avenue. And we'll continue down North Avenue just like this. We have these connections down here along South Street. Of course here. And then between these two vertices. Then we have the between these two vertices here. Here. We have this one between North Avenue and Pole Street, and then Pole Street to South Street. And then this final one here. Then, of course, we have this one from North Avenue over to Pole Street. And I think we got it. So we'll just go ahead, and I'm just going to do the same thing on top of the map here. Because essentially that's all we're really doing. We're just following the map. But the idea is, is hopefully you're seeing the relationship between these vertices and the edges. Don't forget, we're looking for a relationship between the vertices and the edges. Not necessarily wanting to draw a map or recopy a map or showing a graph that would represent our scenario. And there isn't any reason to make it any more complicated than what the map is already providing, but there can be other ways of being able to do this. You don't have to do it exactly like this, but there's no reason to complicate things. So it looks pretty good, and I think we're done.